Good morning everyone. It is actually Thursday about 2 o'clock p.m. but I just pretty much got out of bed so this is morning to me and this is what I'm having for my first intake of the day. Zero smart points. I am having this great value house blend coffee for zero smart points and one tablespoon of Dairy Star fat free half and half for zero smart points. So coffee it is. Hey guys, happy Thursday, I guess it is. It's Thursday, it's about, it's almost five o'clock. Um, I actually laid in bed today until one-ish and um, I got some things done in bed, but I am feeling better, obviously, like well enough to do a real video. So you know what, I just made the most awesome concoction. It is a teamy skinny mojito. Mm. You guys, it's so good. It tastes like the real deal, minus alcohol. So um, watch my video about the Timmy Skinny Mojito because it's probably gonna be up by the time this video goes up and I also have a 25% off coupon code, but you have to try. If you love mojitos, like you know I do, you have to try the Timmy Skinny Mojito. It's so good, I'm blown away by my own genius, yeah. yeah. <laughs> And obviously I'm feeling a little better. Tamiflu must work. I am still pretty dang miserable, but compared to the kind of miserable, like deathbed kind of miserable I have been for the past three days, life is pretty good right now. So um, try not to mess up my nails. I want to show you guys some things that I got for Christmas. Like Christmas was such a big bummer. I'm so glad that we had those two days at the cabin before everybody decided to be on their deathbed because Christmas Day itself was a huge bummer and I feel like I haven't had a chance to really like look at or enjoy my gifts. Um, so I'm, I'm glad I'm <coughs> glad I'm starting to feel better. I have a little stomach ache right now. I just ate a banana so I'm not sure why. I'm not sure why I have a stomach ache. No, I'm not sure why I ate a banana hungry <laughs> um, so I wanted to show you guys a couple things that I got for Christmas because I got really like so many amazing things but there are a few things I want to show you guys because I know you can appreciate first of all something that I got literally just today from my secret Santa which it, it cracked me up as soon as I opened it because it just totally described my night yesterday but um that's right Run all the miles, eat all the pizza. This is a running headband. 50! And my Secret Santa, actually, she gave me a three of these and, and a t-shirt and a mug. Um, but this just cracked me up because as soon as I opened the box and saw this, I was like, oh, that's why I had pizza last night. Yeah, how to show you guys that. Um, and then I wanna show you what Eddie got me because I almost cried when I opened it because you know guys are not very sentimental so and Eddie's not really like when we first met he was like over the top romantic like he <coughs> got me right there you know um but you know we've become comfortable we love each other we know it so we're not all mushy mushy all the time um so when he does get a little bit sentimental or serious it kind of makes me all teary-eyed so here's what he got me for Christmas which is not a big deal but I think it's a big deal this is a magnet with our picture on it isn't that cute so this is for my work um, and I'm just let me show the other the other gift too and then I'll tell you this is a notebook with our pictures on it and it says live laugh love right Oh, smile, laugh, love. And it has all of our pictures on it. So I asked him, I said, are these your favorite pictures of us? And he said it was just what he could find. But I think these are his favorite pictures of us. But this just, and it's just, oh, and it says Eddie and Julie up there. And it's just like a blank notebook. So I have to figure out what kind of juicy secrets I'm gonna keep in here. <laughs> Anyway, it just made me smile because he went to the effort of finding the pictures of us, ordering something online, and I don't know, it just, it made me very happy. Made me tear up. 
Um, then, oh my gosh, Stacy Hart, you doll, you sweetheart. Um, Stacy knows that I love OPI and she's one of my YouTube viewers. So um, she gave me so many delicious OPI colors, I can't even tell you. So I'm gonna show you. Um, oh my gosh. <coughs> okay, so this color has been on for two weeks today. I'm trying to stretch my manicures to two weeks. So I'll probably, um, for New Year's Day or New Year's Eve, sometime this weekend, I'm probably gonna do, I have like an OPI chrome silver. Ooh, I wish I had a chrome rose gold. Do they even make that? Stacy, do they make that? Wouldn't chrome rose gold nails be like the bomb and so match this? Anyway, for New Year's Eve or New Year's weekend, I'm gonna do the OPI chrome silver, but it's like this weird finish that only lasts like a day or two. And it says like literally on the label on the box when you get it that it only lasts 24 hours so I'm gonna do that but the weird thing is the nail system that I'm doing right now I don't want to explain it now because maybe I'll do a tutorial later but it's something I learned from Vassar Beauty if you guys watch her anyway the nail system I'm doing right now I can't really take off the color with the polish remover that I have right now because I have straight acetone and I don't want to get I'm cheap okay I want to use up the acetone and not have to get something else so what I need to do is I need to be able to paint directly over the chrome color and make it last two weeks yeah I don't ask for much um, so I have to choose out of all these colors I'm going to show you which one is going to paint over the chrome the best which one should I use first I don't know if a light color would go over chrome, but it probably it probably would actually be okay. So you guys, help me decide what my next color is gonna be after the chrome. Okay, this, isn't that a beautiful red? It's like super bright. It's like, I almost wanna say Christmas red, but I'm not gonna wait until next Christmas to wear it. So that's beautiful. That's a beautiful red. And I would tell you guys the colors, but, um. I do have my glasses right here, but it's pretty dark out. So I'll just show you. I'll just show you, and if you want to know what these colors are because you want to buy them yourself, let me know, and I will actually put my glasses on and look for you. Okay, so here's the nice bright red, and then this is like a, it's a burgundy, but it has like a bit of a gold kind of shimmer in it. That's what it looks like to me. Maybe not a gold shimmer, but there's that burgundy. She got me so many colors. Ah, oh, this I love. It's like a lilac. It's like a, a lavender, a lilac. It's not super light, but it's not deep. This is a beautiful spring color. But I'll wear it now. I don't necessarily adhere to the seasonal trends in nail polish. I wear what looks cool. What looks cool to me. This is cool. This is a purple, but it's very shimmery that's nice huh like this color that I have on right now is an OPI that I got that is a deep purple this is a shimmery purple I told Stacy I was surprised that she was able to give so many colors that I don't already have love it this one I can't describe that I don't think I have that one no I'm pretty sure I don't it's like halfway between a pink and a red but it's a nice dark like a gemstone color we'll call this the halfway color halfway between pink and red this one oh this one's very unique would you call that like a it's like a pinky peach <coughs> maybe it's like a rose color I'm not very good with color descriptions so hopefully you guys can see these colors well and then this is like a pink shimmery. It's a brighter pink, but it has like a shimmer to it. This is really pretty. Maybe I'm in the mood for spring colors cause like bring on spring. All the fun stuff of winter is gone or it will be after Monday, right? Ooh, this is really pretty. That's like a mauve. This is like a 
looks like a bit of a satin, but it's nice and mellow and creamy mauve. Can you believe she got me all those colors? I'm so excited. You guys, help me decide which color to put on over the chrome silver. I'll show you the chrome silver when I get that done. So that was from Stacy. Thank you so much, Stacy. I'm just, I'm so blessed. And then segue right in with Julissa's gift. Julissa knows that I love Secevite. I don't know how you say it, but here it is. Secevite is the best, the best top coat. Like I tried to use OPI top coat over OPI. Boo, not good. Secevite is the best. It's the shiniest. Not only is it the shiniest, but there is one other thing is that it dries really fast, like really fast. And I tend to paint my nails and try to stay awake and I fall asleep or I end up petting the cat or I pour another glass of wine. I always do something that is going to screw up my nails. So I need something that dries fast. Julissa, thank you so much. Julissa, you're so funny because she wrote in her card that she had no idea what to get me and everything she got me was like spot on. So that's my favorite, favorite top coat. And then check out these bags she got me. And this is just part of what she got me because she got me a couple other things too, but I had to show you guys these. Look at this bag. Don't die because I about died. <laughs> is that beautiful? Oh my gosh rose gold it's so beautiful it's like a little it's like a little makeup bag or i could put my nail polishes in it or i could put i don't know i don't know yet what i'm gonna put in it because it's adorable i wonder if i want to put all of my lipsticks in here i don't know but that's adorable right and then she also got me this bag like where do you find this stuff girl i love what this says Oh yeah, we do, right? We got it. You and me, Julissa, we got it. That's so cute, oh, That's so adorable and so cute. And on the inside is hair goodies. Yep, hair clips, hair ties, uh, bobby pins, all this stuff I always need. So, especially because I'm trying to grow my hair out. So, Julissa, you did awesome. Thank you so much. And guys, that's just, <coughs> just a fraction of what I got but I want to show you a couple things because I haven't really talked to you for a few days so <sighs> I think I'm going to I can't believe it's so late already it's five o'clock and I was feeling you know how I always have to be like go 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 be productive do something get your stuff done um, last night laying in bed I actually wrote myself a list of things that I was going to try and tackle today. It's been so difficult because literally the energy drain, like I've never been so drained like this. I haven't had a flu like this since I had the swine flu, which was at least four, five, seven years ago. I can't remember when the swine flu was out, but we both had that and it was miserable. You know what, I think it was over seven years ago yeah because I think I was in my old house so um, that was a bad one but I can't remember the last time I had such an energy suck because the last couple days it's been so difficult and so draining just to get up and go to the bathroom that I would rather lay there and hold it that's right it's that exhausting so last night was probably <coughs> Last night was probably the first night in at least three nights that I have slept almost all night. So that was good. However, that is so good. Like I'm almost at the beach drinking mojitos right now. That's really good. Anyway, last night was the first night in forever that I slept through the night almost completely and almost peacefully. However, here comes TMI. When I woke up this morning or when I finally decided to get out of bed, I realized that I reeked. <laughs> That's right, because I sweat so much during the night because the whole fever chills, fever chills, fever chills 
produced so much sweat, but it was such an odd smell. Like, I literally think I was sweating out all of the flu junk, and that's why I feel better today. So, yeah, that was TMI. So, <coughs> once I got up today, forced myself to take another shower. Those showers, they do a body good. And then I actually put on just a little bit of makeup today and forced myself to get outside. I do feel a lot better. It just feels good to be back in the land of the living. So what I want to do right now, which was actually part of my list of things to do, is go for a little walk. Yes, I know. You can't believe it. But I just need to... Oh, I just need to get my body moving and just... I need to feel like a real life person again. So I'm going to do that right now. I am probably, I promise myself all day, if I get up and go for a walk, I'm gonna listen to Fat Dag while I walk because Fat Dag has a new podcast out or a new YouTube video if you haven't seen it or listened to it yet. And I, I swear I haven't listened to any Fat Dag for at least a week. So I am in serious need of a big old shot of Fat Dag Mojo. So I am going to listen to Fat Dag. I'm probably only gonna walk a mile because that's probably all I can handle and probably all I should do. So once I get back from that, I will. <coughs> I will show you what Eddie made for dinner. I'm gonna doctor it up a little, but thank goodness for Eddie who actually feels like cooking. So I'm off for now. Guys, make this skinny mojito. It's so delicious. Mm. Mm. So good. Okay, guys, I am back from my walk. I think I went about two and a half miles. My tracker shut off in the first tenth of a mile. <laughs> so, um, but I went a route that I usually run, so I think it was about two and a half miles. And I just want to say how thankful I am to be feeling good enough to do that. I walked very, very slow. Um, I don't know what time it is. I think it probably took me an hour. I don't, I don't know, because I don't know what time it was or is. Um, anyway, I just walked really slow, and I'm just thankful that I feel well enough to do that. Fat Dag was awesome. I got my Fat Dag Mojo shot that I desperately need it and I'm totally getting on fire and on board for making 2018 my leanest healthiest year ever and I'm going to get that 130 yes I am I also want to say I'm very thankful that it's not super cold out here because if I was where a lot of you guys are no way would I be able to handle walking outside right now I would die in the cold weather you guys are experiencing and I also wanted to say, just if you guys could pray for Eddie's mom, um, I'm feeling better, Eddie's feeling better, but she's still really, really miserable. So um, <coughs> I'm starving right now. All I've had so far is coffee and a banana. So I'm gonna go in and get myself some dinner. Okay guys, here's my dinner for tonight. And it's super early, it's like only seven o'clock. <coughs> but I feel like I've been hungry for hours and I just haven't had time to get anything to eat so which is totally weird but anyway I am hungry and here's what I'm having so this is a soup that Eddie made it's a turkey noodle soup and I just added some of my own stuff to it so basically I have a half cup of pasta for three smart points there is some chicken broth um, probably about five ounces of diced turkey for zero smart points, chicken broth zero. I have fresh cranberries in there for zero smart points. I added more sage, zero smart points, and I added a quarter cup of this fat-free turkey gravy for zero smart points. So everything in the soup is zero points except for the half cup of pasta for three points. So that I'm also having, of course, what I always have with soup are two of the Finn Rye, Finn Crisp Rye crackers. 
my favorite crackers. Two of them is one smart point. So a dinner all together is four smart points. It doesn't look like much, but it's got a lot of protein, so I hope it carries me for a while because I am seriously like really hungry. I don't know yet if I'm going to have my Bellini. Um, I probably will, but I'll probably have it like later because it feels way too early to be having Bellini. So I have four points to my day so far. Okay, guys, I decided to have my grape Bellini. So here's my Bellini for 18 smart points, which takes me up to 18, 19, 20, 21, 22 points for my day, which earns me a blue dot and keeps me within my 23 smart point range. But I also wanted to show you guys this really, ooh, careful, Julie. Okay, I wanted to show you guys this fun Christmas present that Eddie got me. If you guys watch Mr. Cheesy Pop, his name is Max Glickwell, but he, he goes by Mr. Cheesy Pop on YouTube, and he does a lot of Disney food reviews. So he actually had these silicone wine glasses the other day, and we watched his review. So Eddie apparently liked them because he got me these for Christmas, but he also knows that I have a terrible time, or not just me, because sometimes it's the person who's washing the dishes, which is not always me, um, but my wine glasses are always apparently getting broken, so <laughs> he got me these silicone wine glasses, which are really bizarre, like super bizarre, but okay, here's here's my champagne for tonight. Um, but watch my channel guys because as Mr. Cheesy Pop did, I am going to do a review for you or a video showcasing my four favorite drinks in these awesome silicone wine glasses. So heads up, I'll let you know when it's coming. For now, I'm ending my night with 22 smart points. <laughs> okay, and one more little bit of Christmas. This is a collagen essence cucumber facial mask. Very attractive. This is from Eddie's mom. I am now going to put on my super fluffy soft socks, also from Eddie's mom, and relax. Cheers! Yeah.